Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my January favorites. So this is pretty much everything that I've been loving for the entire month of January. Whether it's clothing, whether it's accessories, skincare, makeup, we have a whole variety of things in today's video. So if you want to see what I've been loving for the entire month, then let's just get right into it. So the first thing is a clothing item, and these are the like olive green jeans from American Eagle. I am obsessed with these. I cannot even tell you guys how much I love these jeans. They fit me so good. They are so soft, and they're just so cute. Like, this is the perfect color olive ever. Ever. It's so cute. I usually wear these with like a black top or a white top. I like switch it up a couple times on my Instagram. So if you want to see me in these jeans and how to like wear them and accessorize with them, then head over to my Instagram. But anyways, um, I got these for Christmas and I just love them so much. Like they're so cute. They have rips on both um, legs. But they're not like huge rips. There's a lot of like frillies in the middle of the hole, so it's not really showing a ton of your leg. I will try to link everything down below as well. First item, love these jeans. Super stretchy, super cute, and just super comfortable. So the next item are tweezers. I don't know if I ever mentioned these on my channel before, but I used to use Revlon tweezers for like my eyebrows and stuff, but then they just ended up sucking. I think I tried to open a package with them and then like they wouldn't close all the way so they never would be able to grab my hairs. Yeah, that sucked. So I invested in a new pair of tweezers and these are by Tweezer Man. Um, I do think these are pretty expensive but I got the mini pair which works just as good and I think they are $10. I got mine from Ulta and these work so good. They have a little bit of like a slant. So like you can pluck out each hair and it just grabs them so well. So yeah, love these tweezers because I tweeze my eyebrows. I don't get them threaded, waxed, nothing. I just do them myself because I'm really scared someone's going to mess them up. I know, I'm that girl. <laughs> but yeah, these are like my babies. So a little bit of skincare that I have been loving for this entire month. I haven't had these for too long, but honestly they have made the biggest difference in my skin. This is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. This is like a dry oil and I apply this at night. And this is supposed to help with texture, uneven skin tone, acne, um, a whole bunch of things. If you just go on Sephora and read all the claims that it's supposed to help, um, it definitely helps a lot. And I realized that my skin is just more even. My texture has gone down a lot, which is really a big thing for me because whenever I apply foundation, I'm always like, why doesn't my skin look airbrushed like everyone else's? It's so frustrating, but lately my skin has been completely changed and I just feel more comfortable with myself without makeup on and with makeup on, you know what I mean? And it doesn't make my um, my makeup look as powdery and as like cakey, so this is so worth it. I got mine off of Sephora and I only apply this at night, so like I'll cleanse my face and then um, I'll apply literally one drop into my palm of this, rub it in between my fingers and then pat it. I always pat all my oils, all of my moisturizer now just because... Oh, I'm talking too fast. Just because I feel like it penetrates into the skin deeper and really just works better. I don't know. I don't really like rubbing anymore because I'm scared of getting more wrinkles than I already have. I think it's around like $17 on Sephora, but it's so worth it. And it does come with one fluid ounce. And I think I've been using this for two weeks and it hasn't even gone down at all. I think I'm going to have this for like a year or two. The next skincare product is a um, eye cream. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's just me. I suck at pronouncing things anyways. But this is the Laneige. Laneige? I don't know. I'll link it down below. But it's their water bank eye gel. And I also just got this. Um, if you are wondering about like what I purchased all at the same time for my skin, I just did a skincare haul. So I will link that up here or down below for you guys. I did just purchase this as well, but I've used it every morning and every night. 
and honestly I noticed the hugest difference with my wrinkles and just my eye area. It's not as dry anymore. It just feels really smooth. My foundation and concealer doesn't really sink into those smile lines or <laughs> not smile lines. <laughs> Um, those wrinkles, like those lines underneath your eyes as much. And that was a huge thing for me because I hated that. I know I have wrinkles. So annoying. You can't get rid of them, but you can at least like try to. So yeah, this has really helped me out. My eyes just feel really moisturized and just really like youthful now. It's more of like a jelly consistency. It's like a clear gel and... This definitely penetrates into the skin a lot quicker than creams, I feel like, so I have no problem applying the foundation or, like, my makeup right after I apply this eye cream. And a big bonus is this comes with 0.8 fluid ounces when eye creams usually come with 0.5, and this was only $35. And it's so worth it. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It doesn't really have a strong scent. It just smells, like, really, just, like, really clean. You know what I mean? That scent like really clean. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what it smells like. So yeah. Okay. So let's move on to makeup. I don't have too much, but I do have a few things. First up is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I apply this every single time I do my makeup now. It's just so good. Like, I use it before I apply my, like, my regular primer, and it just really hydrates, wakes me up a little bit, and I feel like my skin is just, like, a tiny bit plumper. And I do use it after I'm completely done with my face, before my setting spray, just to make sure that my makeup doesn't look um, powdery. It will kind of just diminish that, you know what I mean? Like, it will get rid of it and make it all blend together. It's not a setting spray, but it will definitely, like, hydrate your skin. So yeah, I really like this scent. Um, I heard they did come out with like a lavender one, so I definitely need to try that one out. I haven't yet, but I just love this. I've probably gone through like three, four, three or four bottles just in like the past like six weeks. Or not six weeks, six months. There we go. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> this is the Maybelline 24 Hour um, Full Coverage Foundation. I did do a full... I did do a first impression and wear test on this foundation, and I absolutely love it. I know a ton of you want me to do this foundation versus the Wet n Wild one that is coming. Just be patient with me. School started. I'm very busy and very stressed out, but it's coming for you guys. It was only $12, $10 at the drugstore. Super full coverage, super lightweight. Makes your skin look flawless. Doesn't really emphasize a lot of your texture. Doesn't really sink into any lines. Lasts a very long time. I do think they have a good shade range. Um, I'm in the shade Natural Ivory if you're kind of like my skin tone, but... I just love this so much. So yeah, stay tuned and just keep watching out for that battle of the foundations because I'm excited to record that one. I've been obsessed with this CoverGirl eyebrow pencil in the shade Rich Brown. This is just like a regular old eyebrow pencil with like the skinny tip. It's not too waxy, it's not too dry. Um, the color is perfect for me. As you can see, I used it today and it's literally perfect. And honestly, like, it just looks really good. I love the spoolie on the end. I can't complain about it. And it's from the drugstore, so what else can I say? So this is the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. I got this in my January BoxyCharm, and it is stunning. It does have, like, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. These are all shimmery, but when you apply them onto your skin, they're not really, like, really shimmery. You know what I mean? It's more of like a very, very light sheen, so it doesn't emphasize texture if you're worried about that. But girl, this highlighter in the middle is so beaming. It's insane. Um, I really like the texture of these as well because they're not very powdery and they're not like creams. They're like in the middle, so I just go in with like my brush, dip it in very lightly. They're very pigmented blend it out all over my skin and it just looks so natural and so pretty. I highly recommend this palette if you're scared of using like a lot of powder on top of your face and just want something more of like a natural glow from within, you know what I mean? Highly recommend this. It's so worth it. I've been obsessed with it. It's already like filthy and disgusting, but 
so worth it. The last item is a lip product. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. I've been obsessed with glossy lips lately. I don't know what it is, but I need to like pick up a ton more like lip liner so I can just put this over it because it's so pretty. It's not too goopy, but it does last on your lips a very long time. The color is literally perfection. It's like a like a light pink nude color. It's just so pretty. And it's not like chunky sparkles. It's just a really pretty gloss. Sometimes I wear it alone when I'm just having a, like a mascara and eyebrow type of day. So those are all of the products that I've been obsessed with for all of January. Wow. How is it already February? I feel like it was just New Year's Eve. Is it, am I... Am I the only one? But yeah, so those are a few of the products that I have been loving. Let me know down below what you have been loving lately. I love to test out new things or just hear what you guys have been loving. If we agree, you know what I mean. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my S squad and give this video a thumbs up if you really liked it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves. By the way, sorry Sash wasn't in this video. She, I tried to get her to lay on this pillow because she loves this pillow because it's just really like fluffy and stuff. But she wanted to get down, so yeah. She kind of dissed me, but that's okay. Maybe she'll be in the next one. So yeah, bye guys. <laughs>